Uh, first off, welcome to Seattle. How, how does it feel to you know you're coming through an organization with such a winning tradition? It's awesome. It's great. Um, I mean, everybody that comes through here, you know, has great careers. Uh, I think I'm really excited as an individual to grow uh, and be part of a great organization that has, you know, a, tr a tradition of excellence. Um, and, and, you know, just learn so much from the guys around me. Uh, there's obviously, you know, the results show that they're doing things right here. People are growing uh, as individuals and, you know, as people too. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of it. What are some of the things that, that you look forward to working with the staff? I really, uh, you know, he's, Steph's been, you know, absolutely one of the top goalkeepers over the past several years, uh, making great saves, but also consistency wise. Uh, and that's one of the most important things for a goalkeeper. Uh, so to be able to work with him every day, you know, see how he does it, but then also work with Tommy because, you know, Tommy kind of sculpts us into into the goalkeepers and players that we are. Uh, so being able to work at, at such a high level consistently day in, day out, instead of just watching it, uh, you know, watching him perform on, on the weekend, uh, it's, it's, you can learn a lot and I'm really excited. How is Tommy Dutra different from other goalkeeper coaches that you've worked with in your past career? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to work with Tommy because he's, he's a very technical guy. Uh, he, he's very, very detail-oriented, uh, and that's kind of how I am. I like to analyze things. I like to look at video. I like to you know, pay attention to the technique and, and the smallest of details. Uh, and nothing gets by Tommy. <laughs> uh, he, you know, every, every single thing, uh, he's, he's fine critiquing, and, and I'm really looking forward to getting very refined in in my technique and form uh, and we'll you know see it translate into making making the saves. You know, Garth had said that uh, you were one of the the, f the few guys that both he and Tommy had uh, individually identified as a player that they'd like to try to bring in. Um, had you had much contact with either of them before and uh, it sounded like maybe they were interested in you back in the, in the draft? Yeah I you know back when I was in college, uh, came out to the, ML the Combine, and then got taken by Chicago. Uh, so I, I hadn't talked to them much before. Uh, before I got traded here, I talked to each of them uh, on the phone for quite a while. Um, I you know, th think they wanted to see what kind of person I was and you know, kind of hear my story. Uh, and you know, we got along great, great phone conversations. Uh, and I think that's really important to have personalities that mesh and to build a culture in the locker room. Spent much time in Seattle before, or what do you think of? That? Uh, I, I like Seattle. I've, I came out here with my sister and brother-in-law to go to a, a Seahawks NFC Championship game. I think about 15 years ago. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, I had a great time. Uh, I've, you know, been out here for soccer. Came out here in college uh, f to play UW in Seattle U, and then been out here to play the Sounders. And um, I, I've only been to a Sounders game when playing them, and I'm, you know, really excited because obviously great fan base, great crowd you know, great support from the entire community. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Have you and Fry developed any sort of nicknames yet, having the same name, or anything to come? You know, I think he's going to take priority on Stefan, or Steph, so I think I'm going to have to resort to Cleveland. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. You know, maybe I can work up a little bit, uh, but we'll, we'll see. So far, that's kind of what it's been, or a lot of confusion. <laughs> so going from a, a team that uh, missed the playoffs last year to the MLS Cup champions, what's that phone call like when you find out you're make, you're making that move? It's really exciting. Uh, you know, I think in Chicago they have a lot of, a lot of good changes going on. Uh, so I think, you know, things are developing there and I think they're going to have a better year this year, if not this year, in the future. Um, but, you know, getting a fresh start, because, you know, because I've been there for three years. Uh, so getting a fresh start, it's kind of, um, you know, a bit of a shower in the morning to wake you up and, and get you reinvigorated and excite, excited to train every day um, and excited to get better. And work with new people, it's getting get in a new environment uh, and a winning environment. What would you say your strengths are as a goalkeeper? Uh, like I said, I think uh, I like to be really technical. I like to focus on training uh, and I like to push the guys around me. Um, so, and then I think playing with my feet, building out of the back, um, and then I think one of the things I really gained over the past couple of years is the, you know, the decision making, uh, and trying to make the right decision. And obviously there's always mistakes and always trying to get better. Uh, but I think also learning from my mistakes and growing each day, uh, always pushing and then pushing the others around me is, is I think we're going to, we're going to have a really good goalkeeper group here.